Sydney, capital of New South Wales and one of Australia's largest cities, is best known for its harbourfront Sydney Opera House with a distinctive sail-like design. Massive Darling Harbour and the smaller circular key port are hubs of waterside life with the arched harbour bridge and esteemed Royal Botanic Garden nearby. Sydney Tower's outdoor platform, the Skywalk, offers 360-degree views of the city and suburbs. As presented in today's intro, I'm going to show you how to add captation to your project. I will show you a simple workflow so you can follow along and enjoy making your subtitles. Right, let's dive into the edit page. Welcome to a new tutorial in DaVinci Resolve 17. Today I'm going to show you easy way how to create subtitles in DaVinci Resolve 17 free version. So today I have prepared already a clip and I'm going to show you how to create subtitles in DaVinci Resolve 17. So one thing is you can just easily go to effect library, you can go to titles and just scroll to the bottom and you have here subtitles. So you can just drag and drop this to your timeline. So we have subtitles here. Or if we go and delete this and we can just do it with, uh, with uh, right click. So we have three different options here. Add track, add more tracks and add subtitle tracks. So let's press this. We have here uh, subtitle track one uh, we can rename this subtitle if we want so we're gonna leave it like it is uh, but you can put it like if you have different languages so you can put it English uh, or any other language it will be visible later you're gonna see how to save it and uh, it will be like uh, captations for different languages so you can do here or you can add a few more subtitles so we can just go with another one st2 so let's delete this one and uh, leave it this one and let's go to uh, inspector you have uh, captations here so we don't have anything yet so create captation Immediately you can see that we have here the box and uh, we're gonna just highlight it and here we can edit uh, our subtitles. So uh, first thing if you don't have uh, take this use track star so if we go with that you you will you will gonna get uh, basically the same style throughout the whole movie or video clip and uh, next thing is how we can add this uh, I have some text in in my uh, notepad so we can go like just copy and paste the so one thing is uh, that we need to just estimate it how long it is so you can see here immediately that it's long enough uh, we can maybe add another word uh, but we have Sydney Opera House so we're gonna leave this together the capital of New South Wales and one of Australia's largest cities is best known for its cover from Sydney Opera House so let's go back a little bit for its cover from and we can just shorten here right click add subtitles go to notepad just grab this uh, here, uh, copy and let's go back, put it in, control V and we can see immediately, so if this is enough space for that, so you can see that it's a bit difficult to see, so we're gonna do another thing, so we're gonna go to style. So here we have all the options that we can change. So we can change the, we can change fonts. Uh, so we can go with some Arial like here. So you can change the size of it. You can uh, change the line uh, spacing. 
Uh, we also can change the kerning, so we can extend a bit on the screen or squeeze it a little bit. We have also the alignments to the left, to the center, to the right, or just forced one. So we're gonna leave it like this. Uh, you can also change the position on X and Y axis. So we can go to the right, we can go to up and down. And uh, also we can zoom in or we can zoom out. Uh, so you also have options like using these anchors, so different anchors that we have here, so, but we're gonna leave it as it is. I'm not using drop shadow because it's difficult to read, so I'm not using stroke as well, I'm not using these, uh, but I use backgrounds most of the time, because if we have background uh, you will not have any problems with, with the reading or let's say the visibility of uh, your subtitles. So one thing is I'm not using uh, online width, but what is it? I, I will show you. So I'm using uh, just the width and height. So when I put it like, uh, like this that I like, so uh, it's basically done, but if we go with outline, you get also the outline. So you can change the, the size of it. I'm not using this one. So, but one thing is, uh, I'm going back to, uh, because I'm, when I'm transforming this, so I would like to change the position of it. So I drag both, so uh, subtitles and background together. So I can adjust the position and uh, this is very nice. So one thing is we also have opacity so you can go a bit less or a bit more uh, to the almost to dark. So I'm using like 50% uh, of, of this uh, and it's uh, visible through and it's quite nice. So if you look at like a full screen you can see that it's uh, readable and you don't have any problems with that. So if we go back just to see... Sydney, capital of New South Wales and one of Australia's largest cities, is best known for its cover from Sydney. So you can see that uh, it's quite easy to operate with that. So let's go and play a little bit more. Massive Darwin Harbour and a smaller circular key port so we can leave it right here. So it's a bit, uh, let's say, demanding to, to uh, follow this, but if you have it already uh, written down all the text that you need, so you just copy and paste, and you will see that uh, it's gonna very fast, so right click and uh, just open this, just put subtitles in, Control V, uh, we can check immediately, so looks okay here. So we can play it just Our to see. Hubs of waterside line with the arched harbor bridge and esteemed Royal Botanic Garden nearby. Sydney Tower. So we can extend it a bit more, and we can go back to text and just copy the rest of it. So let's go back, right click, add subtitle and we're gonna put it almost till the end or uh, so let's put the, the text in Control v let's see what it's here so you can see that the position of this text have moved and we're gonna just be careful with with that so you saw that we have another enter here so just go backspace otherwise you have some problems later on because the text will uh, jump out uh, of background so if we go with this way we don't have any problems with that so now we can play through just to see oh we can change here a bit so we're gonna move this so we're gonna just shorten a bit and we're gonna put it like this capital of new stuff uh, we're gonna zoom in. Gonna go a bit like this. Of New South Wales and 
one of Aust capital of New South Wales and one of Australia Sydney. A bit more. Capital of Sydney, capital of New South Wales and one of Australia's largest cities, is best known for its harbour from Sydney Opera Hub. So it's best known. Harbour from Sydney. Like this. Known for its harbour from Sydney. And we have to go back a little bit, and we're gonna drag those two closer, and we're gonna Opera see with again. Cities. So let's play Capital it through with the full screen. One of Australia's largest cities is best known for its harbour from Sydney Opera House with a distinctive sail-like design. Massive Darling Harbour and the smaller circular key port are hubs of waterside life with the arched harbour bridge and a steep royal botanic garden nearby. Sydney Tower's outdoor platform, the Skywalk, offers 360-degree views of the city and suburbs. So this is the whole thing, so we can just change the position of this one. Sydney Tower's outdoor platform, the Skywalk, offers 360-degree views of the city and suburbs. So this is it, and uh, once you're finished with editing, or let's say with subtitles, let's jump to, uh, uh, let's ex export this video clip. So let's jump to deliver page, and we're gonna just uh, give the name, so test subtitles, choose the location. On the bottom of this, uh, this menu, you can see subtitles settings. So let's go and see what we have here. So just tick export subtitles. So I have different options to export it. So you can export it as separate files or burn into video embedded captation. But if we go with uh, burn into video, this is good for social media that uh, if you want that you have all the time uh, the titles on or you can basically uh, just uh, leave it like as a separate file and you just take subtitle add to render queue and uh, this is it so and render all and this is it so if you have any questions regarding uh, how to add subtitles in DaVinci Resolve 17 free version or studio version, just let me know down in, in comments. Uh, so this is all for today. Uh, thank you for watching and see you next time. Fast, easy and effective. Once again, thank you for watching and if you find this tutorial helpful, hit that thumbs up. You can also leave your feedback, suggestion or comments below. And if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. It will help my channel to grow. There are many tutorials on this channel which can help you to upgrade your knowledge or just to refresh your memory. So take your time and watch my other tutorials as well. Nothing more to say, so till next time, take care and have a good one.